am going to start off today's vlog with making some mulberry jam. It is about 10.20. We went for a walk this morning around 9 because it's supposed to get about 90 degrees today. So I thought it'd be nice to get that walk in. We had to take um, a baby shower gift to our, our church because there's going to be a baby shower on Sunday and we're going to be gone this weekend. So um, we walked it over there and just enjoyed the outside a little bit and the country and then some flowers and just I love 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 looking at the nature around me when I'm out for a walk. So Neve is down for a nap and I'm going to make some mulberry jam. Now mulberries are things that some people love and some people hate so um, I love them. They are very prevalent in our area. Uh, they're little blue black purple berries and we have a volunteer mulberry tree in our yard. If you follow me on Instagram you know that. Um, they stain super badly, but I'm gonna make a very simple mulberry jam. I made strawberry jam and rhubarb jam with this same recipe and it is from the Elliott Homestead, but I'm not going to hot pack it this time. I'm going to hot water bath it because I was reading up on it and botulism can happen very easily if you don't hot water bath or can things correctly. So I just don't want to risk that. So I'm gonna hot water bath it. If you want to hot pack it, that's totally up to you. But um, yeah, I'm going to hot water bath it. It only takes like 20 more minutes just to hot water bath it. And you do not need a pressure canner to make jam, just a big stock kettle. So I'm gonna show you that. And then um, later this afternoon, we have a grad party to go to. <music> now to a rolling boil. It's been there for about 10 minutes and um, I'm gonna leave some of the chunks in there. I think that's okay because it's a jam. So I also left the stems on because they're so stinking little that you don't really want to take them off. So um, what I might do I guess is go through it with a potato masher and mash those up a little bit more just so they're a little bit easier to eat because those are still like whole mulberries. But it's four cups of mulberries, one and a half cups honey, three teaspoons of no sugar pectin, and one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon ginger. And let it boil for about 10 minutes. Super easy and smells delicious. <music> them in a stock pot here with about an inch of water over the taller ones of course it's more over the little ones bring that to a boil for 10 minutes and then pull them out and I have a um, little canner jar grabber you don't have to use it but it's just so convenient to have that so little Missy here decided to wake up after only half hour of sleeping, didn't you? So we're gonna go play for a little bit. The jam is just settling in the kettle for five minutes and then I'll take it out to cool. So we're gonna go play for a little bit before lunch here. Where'd they go? Not that one. 
What one does it go in? Where does it go? How about this one? Yay! Can you try this one? No, you were right. Try the blue. You want mine to try? Right there, that one. Well, you just missed it. One of them just sealed. It has a little pop to it. Um, so give them about 24 hours to sit and then you're good to go. So I'll write on them with a Sharpie and put them down with my other jams in our um, canned storage area. So don't those look just delicious? Oh, yummy. And I did put a, um, use a potato masher, which I'm glad because then it's a little, oh, there's a pop. Perfect. And so that means it's sealed. Definitely great. <laughs> Hello again. It is after lunchtime and um, we had a leftover Mexican dish. I actually have made a video about it, I think, like a year ago. So if I find it, I'll link it in the description box. Super simple and great leftovers. And then we went out and did a little hoeing, Nevaeh and I, in the garden. And now she's down for a second nap. So hopefully she sleeps longer than half an hour. I hope. Um, I gotta get a video up. You're seeing this after the last video went up. It's my summer refresh video so go check that out for our bedroom um so i'm going to clean up the floor a little bit since we're not going to eat supper here i'm going to clean that in the kitchen and then um yeah get that video up so that might be all of her nap time i'm not sure and then we're gonna leave by 3 30 ish so i really only have two hours which it's plenty of time if i prioritize right <laughs> drop off um we are in our city so Liz is gonna drop some stuff off and then i'm gonna do a little bit of thrifting before we go to the graduation party um i'll put Nevaeh in the carrier and hopefully find a few things because it's always fun to find some thrifted treasures right Blaze? yep at least that he'll sell i'll find stuff for me <laughs> um so i'll take you in there for a little bit unless it's super busy then i won't something I want right there <laughs> how much are you oh good now I also got some dresses to look at well we are back from our a little adventure we had I got a few things at the thrift store um I might share them with you here when I find them my husband brought them in but maybe I'll do a collective thrift haul next week so there's just a couple clothing items for Nevaeh and myself and one cute Thing that I'm really excited about um, yeah the grad party too was great it was smaller not a lot of people the seating was very separated so they made sure to take precautions and serving food was more um, they served the main dish and then everything else was in a separate container so no contamination no touching which they did a great got great job for um, taking those measures but I got some sauce on my shirt from little Nevaeh's hands, of course, and on my skirt and on her skirt. So I'm going to spot clean. And um, if you have any tips on spot cleaning, let me know. I know Hillary at Old World Home told me spray and wash works great. Um, I use OxyClean and I had an issue with that actually when it bled my daughter's um, pink words into the yellow shirt. So I'm gonna try to spot clean this with some Dawn and then throw it in the wash right away. You can hear Nevea, she's trying to fall asleep or home later than her normal bedtime. Um, but if I find those thrifted items, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'm gonna pick up the house, get changed, and um, see what the night brings. A 
Okay, I will quickly show you what I got. I got Nevaeh this cute pink dress. It is a 3T Jimboree with the button down. Super cute. Um, I don't know what Goodwill one piece each is 275 I think. So got her that. She's so tall that I thought that'd be perfect. And then this 3T t-shirt. She is 14 months, reminder of that. So this might be a little bit big, but it's really cute. I like the detailing there. And then this 2T, how fun is that for summer? And look at those little sleeves. So, and then this 2 t shirt. Isn't that just adorable? So that's for Nevaeh. And some clothes I got myself. Just another tank top that is from Loft. It is a petite, but um, I thought it'd be really cute with a high-waisted jean or something like that. The front, like that. And the back is what got me. So I really like that. And then just a nice summer dress to wear this summer, obviously. It's gray with that beautiful floral print. Um, yeah, I don't know the brand of it. So I got that. And then what I'm most excited about is this lovely piece here. So it's got a blue hint tint to it. And... Um, Oops, sorry. It says McCoy. 7528 McCoy. I don't know what that is. You can't see that. But I wanted another picture to add to our bedroom. We're in another place. I don't know. I love pictures. So that was $4. So fun.